Finally, the U.S. Air Force receives a specially modified fighter with a critical role, the most important F-35 in the entire fleet. At Edwards Air Force Base, a single Lightning II has just entered service with the 461st Flight Test Squadron. But this isn't just another stealth fighter rolling off the line. This jet has been loaded with special instrumentation, designed to carry the weight of the entire program's future on its wings. It might not fire the first shot in a war, but its mission could decide whether the F-35 fulfills its promise or slips further behind America's adversaries. To understand why this aircraft matters, we need to take a step back. The F-35 program has always been about more than just speed or stealth. From day one, it was designed to be a data fusion machine, a fifth generation strike fighter that could see everything, process everything, and direct the fight for everyone else. But there's been one major problem. The hardware has been here for years. The software, it's been lagging, delayed, and in many ways, unfinished. That's where Technology Refresh 3, TR3, comes in. Think of TR3 as the operating system upgrade that unlocks the fighter's true potential. Without it, the F-35 is like a powerful smartphone stuck running decade-old software. It flies, it fights, but it can't handle the advanced sensors, weapons, and electronic warfare capabilities it was promised. And that's where this specially modified F-35 enters the picture. It's the only airframe in the world capable of testing both mission systems and flight sciences together making it the single most important test bed in the fleet. Now, let's talk about delays. TR-3 was supposed to be operational by the early 2020s. By 2025, the Pentagon planned to have Block 4 capabilities fielded. Things like long-range standoff weapons, advanced radars, new electronic warfare systems, and integration with future weapons that don't even exist yet. But instead of leading the charge, the F-35 has been stuck in limbo. In February 2025, the Pentagon's own testing office admitted that operational trials for TR-3 wouldn't even begin until 2026. That's not just a slip, it's a half-decade delay. And it gets worse. In July 2023, the Joint Program Office actually froze deliveries. New jets were built, paid for, but then parked. They couldn't be delivered because the TR-3 software wasn't ready. Imagine spending $80 million per aircraft only to have it sitting idle because the digital brain isn't finished. For the U.S. Air Force, already years behind schedule, this was a major setback. So why does TR-3 matter so much? Because it's the gateway to the future. TR-3 introduces a more powerful core processor, expanded memory, and an open architecture flexible enough to support upgrades for the next decade. It's what allows Block 4 weapons, things like hypersonic missiles, advanced air-to-air -air interceptors, and improved precision-guided bombs to actually plug into the jet. Without TR-3, the F-35 is locked out of the very future it was designed to dominate. Think of it this way. The F-35 is not just another fighter jet. It's supposed to be the quarterback of modern air warfare. It gathers data from satellites, ships, ground forces, and other aircraft, fuses that information and distributes it across the battle space. That's how it keeps the US and its allies ahead. But if the quarterback can't process the playbook fast enough, the whole team suffers. TR-3 is what gives the quarterback the playbook it needs. This brings us back to Edwards Air Force Base and that single, specially modified jet. Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Trudome of the F-35 Integrated Test Force put it bluntly, this is the only F-35A on the planet capable of evaluating both mission systems and flight sciences. That means it can run TR-3 through its paces in a way no other jet can, testing weapons integration, stress testing the flight computer, and catching glitches before they ever reach the frontline fleet. It won't be glamorous. You won't see this jet dogfighting or flying combat patrols over the Pacific. Its job is to push the envelope break the software and fix it again and again until TR-3 and Block 4 can finally be certified. Every test flight brings the program closer to unlocking the fighter's true potential. And every problem caught today could prevent a disaster tomorrow when lives depend on it. The timing couldn't be more critical. 
China's J-20 Mighty Dragon is already being upgraded with new engines, better stealth, and electronic warfare variants. Russia's Su-57, while limited in numbers, is also evolving, with long-range missiles designed to challenge U.S. aircraft from afar. In that context, the F-35 cannot afford to stall. The world's most expensive fighter program, costing over $1.7 trillion across its lifetime, risks losing its edge if its software can't keep pace. This is why the Air Force is treating this single aircraft as the crown jewel of its testing fleet. Because in today's battle space, superiority doesn't just come from who has the most jets, it comes from who can adapt the fastest, who can process data the quickest, and who can integrate new weapons the smoothest. The F-35 is at a crossroads. On one path, TR-3 and Block 4 come online, giving the jet the advanced capabilities it was always meant to have, securing American and Allied air dominance for the next two decades. On the other path, delays continue, jets pile up waiting for software, and adversaries close the gap. That's why this one specially modified F-35 may just be the most important fighter in the entire US arsenal, not because of what it carries on its wings, but because of the future it carries on its circuits. If it succeeds, the F-35 becomes the quarterback of tomorrow's battlefield. If it fails, the most expensive weapons program in history risks falling behind.